hamburger and fries is my specialty. I don't think I've ever lost a hamburger and fry. I'm going to go out on a limb and guarantee I'll finish first in the four eaters. If not, I'll retire from competitive eating. Wow. That's a big statement, Bob. Are you sure you want to make that? Yes, I guarantee. Okay. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> good thing your fingers are crossed. Let's find out. Everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are in New York City. I'm here with the great Ricardo Cabucci. We have Mr. Torres B.O.B., Wayne Alginio, one and only Aaron, and we have Corbucci's wife over there. Can't forget her as well. So today we are at the Clinton Hall right here to do their burger challenge. It's like a five pound challenge, lots of fries, big burger. Record's about nine and a half minutes by Mr. Wayne himself. So let's see what we can do. We're just gonna have fun with it and uh, Welcome to New York. We go Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we are at Clinton Hall in New York City. More specifically, this is their Washington Street uh, location, which is down by Wall Street. So right, right, right downtown. Uh, so for this challenge, which is called the Clinton Hall Burger Challenge of all names, you had 25 minutes to consume about five pounds of burgers and fries, definitely no shortage of fries, and a beer. The beer was absolutely mandatory. I did inquire if you could substituted for a non-alcoholic beverage or even some other kind of beer but no you had to have the IPA which came along with the challenge so definitely unique in that regard as I've never had a challenge require a beer I'm not a big beer drinker so it wasn't my most exciting point or aspect of this challenge so what was so exciting was I am here eating with Mr. Wayne Alginio, we have Mr. Corbucci Eats, we have Bob Shout. So so excited because I never have gotten the chance to do a challenge with Corbucci nor Bob previously. So I was really glad to finally get that opportunity and of course in New York City. The restaurant was absolutely packed as you can see and look around. We had to fight for our seats. I'm also glad the kitchen was able to accommodate us. So with that everybody, that's pretty much all the information. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. I guess only the last thing I'll mention is when I asked them, I said, how do you want to go guys? Do you want to go fast or slow? They said they wanted to go fast. I was ready to sleep as I just had a 12 hour trip to New York, but at that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video.
new record, guys. We just did it in four minutes, 54 seconds. The rest of these gentlemen are finishing up right now, so let's watch them eat. Just finished that challenge. I want to give a huge thanks to all these gentlemen here. Look forward to spending more time with them here in the beautiful New York City. For that, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. Until next time, happy eating. And this is the exciting life of being in New York. Is this guy? Look at that, look at that beautiful face. Look at that beautiful face. There's multi there. Look at this, we have a beautiful Brazilian man, beautiful Brazilian lady. Oh, yeah, there's, the, there's the good footage. Beautiful Mr. Bob himself. Yeah, I'll just zoom right in on Bob as much as we can. And Mr. Aaron. Oh, hey, hey, Aaron. Oh, sorry, there you go. There you go. In New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made. That was good. Wait, your time. Sing me a song, Wayne. Um, Sing me a song. I want it that way. Tell you me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. But tell me why. I never want to hear you say.